Now, for two days every week for the past couple of months, many trains across France have been delayed or cancelled as staff from the state-run operator stage a strike. Rail workers, known as uh, collectively Les Cheminots, are enraged by President Emmanuel Macron's grand plan to get the debt-ridden company back on track. <laughs> well, to give us uh, his uh, perspective <laughs> on this and some of the other pressing uh, social issues here in France, we're joined here in the studio by the uh, Marxist philosopher Etienne uh, Balibar. Thank you very much for joining us here. Thank on you France for 24. receiving me. But uh, you have clearly something to say about my my uh, my introduction there. No, no. But uh, you or, or immediately put a stamp. You know, the Marxist philosopher, etc. Is that not how you describe yourself? I could. I could. I could. Um, let's get back. Are to... you French or English? I'm English. Oh yes. You have a very good uh, Oxford accent, which is not my case, because I <laughs> teach mainly in the United States. <laughs> let's, let's see how far uh, we get. Let's go back to the, 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 main, the main topic of the interview, and that's yes. the SNCF uh, train strike. Yes. You're one of uh, many intellectuals and artists that have uh, joined forces to come out in support of those uh, striking uh, rail workers. Yes. What are you hoping to achieve by clubbing together? What am I hoping? Hoping to achieve by joining forces and coming out oh, in support of we the Oh, we are Shemino. just a supporting force, you know. We are not the main uh, force. I think the important thing is the backing from the public uh, opinion, which is a difficult problem because, of course, it's easy to uh, suggest or to uh, pretend that the uh, cheminots, as you call them, the railway workers, are just uh, uh, fighting to defend some uh, corporate interests, uh, whereas, in fact, I, with many others, believe that they are are defending a, a vital public uh, service. But they, they... The, the British example is, is perfect in this respect because you already had many years ago a complete privatization and commercialization, I would say, of the uh, railway system, which uh, as a consequence works not so well. It's and now gone back to being completely run by private companies. Excuse me? It's now gone back to being run by private companies. It didn't really well, work. In, in, in Britain? In Britain, yeah. In Britain, there are calls today, as you know, of course, uh, for... But the previous, uh, the previous uh, test to uh, nationalise railways didn't actually work. Perhaps a solution has been found which uh, provides a better management in today's circumstances. But I don't believe that the solution is a, is a, is a privatization which will leave aside a number of lines which are not supposed to be uh, commercially uh, uh, efficient, you know, and uh, uh, open the, 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 the rest for wild uh, competition because transportation is a, is a vital public uh, service. You uh, say uh, that the striking rail staff are not defending any kind of privileges. These are uh, their social and professional rights. But many people living in France would say that Les Cheminots already have an incredibly great deal. I don't believe this is true, and I don't believe uh, 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 most uh, French people... A large who... number of French people would, would say that retiring early, having a contract for life is a great thing. <laughs> this is the government's uh, uh, discourse, you know. This is the government's or the uh, uh, private corporation's discourse. In fact, they have won over uh, uh, years and decades, uh, yes, uh, certain uh, defences, I would say, against uh, uh, complete exploitation. And, and therefore, they are trying to defend them. But the solution is not to eliminate these uh, uh, relative relatively good uh, uh, conditions for them. It is to generalise the same for many other workers in France. You've described this ongoing strike as being uh, magnificent. That's not the view that many commuters, holidaymakers, people that use the trains in France every day would say. Is this, has this strike not gone on for far too long now? I, I, I don't say that the strike is easy. I don't say that the strike is popular among everybody in France. But I would also not endorse the kind of uh, propaganda that you're selling to me in this moment, namely that it is unpopular. Uh, if it were unpopular, that would give rise to demonstrations. I think 42% of French people say it's gone on long enough. That's not propaganda. Everybody agrees on that. It's yeah. gone long enough. We need a solution. A solution means a negotiation. But is is staging a two-day strike and bringing the transport network to a standstill? Uh, I don't know. This is is, not... that the, is that is that the way forward? No. Sir, I don't know. I'm not a cheminot. I'm not a, 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 union, a, a unionist. 
I'm not directly involved in that, so I cannot decide about the best strategy for them. The, the strategy is uh, uh, struggling together and call for negotiations. For weeks, they've been calling for negotiations. For weeks, the government has explained that they are absolutely close to any such perspective. And it's the same for all social problems in France today. I mean, we have a government which uh, uh, has been elected. I don't say it's not legitimate. Uh, it's been elected particularly to avoid the kind of situation that you see today in Italy. So people want a government uh, and they want an efficient government. But this government, uh, 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 in fact, pretends to uh, uh, discuss, receive uh, advice. When you see, for example, like the uh, report that has been proposed on the situation in the banlieue, the so-called Borlo report, uh, it receives advice and then it puts them under the table and decides entirely on its own. So the Cheminot wants a negotiation and this is needed for the cheminot as it's needed for uh, uh, the peasants, as it's needed for the, 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 the school teachers, it's everywhere. We need more democracy in this country. Okay, Etienne uh, Balibar, I won't call you Marxist, but the uh, French philosopher, thank you very much for being our perspective guest today. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.